guys what is up what is good Preston back again with another video discussion so today i'm going to talk about which team is the favorites to get top four or the fourth the, the first part um in the, in the premier league so uh, looking at the table right now of course man city are first Liverpool are second chelsea are third man are the fourth uh west ham are fifth um arsenal are sixth uh, in seventh place is Wolf, wolverhampton and then in eighth place is Tottenham? I think that will to my pull off in Leicester and then drop off the end. Then Tottenham is 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 is, is what leap from them as well because they do have a, a game in hand as well um, on Wolverhampton because Wolverhampton has play, have played twenty four. Tottenham have, have only played twenty three. So um and 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 of course I'm I'm going to be looking I'm going to be looking at fixtures um from West Ham, Man United, Arsenal, and Tottenham and see which fixtures um actually benefit uh, which team as well uh, to to uh, get top four. As well, you know. so the first team I am going to be looking at. Well, if you hear like a beeping noise outside, it's the garbage uh, truck people coming out. But the first team that I'm going to be looking at is, of course, West Ham. So, so West Ham are playing Wolverhampton next on Sunday, the 27th um, of February. So, for me, I do think that they are going to win that game uh, comfortably as well against West Ham at, literally at home. Then, then after that, um, they, they have got Southampton in the FA Cup. Um, on on the March this, on Wednesday March the second and then on March uh, the fifth they've got Liverpool away which is a tough game uh, I, I, of course going away to Anfield is always a tough game for anybody it's one of the hardest stadiums to actually play football and, and actually get a result from and then uh, March um, the thirteenth they're playing against Aston Villa at home tough game again Aston Villa have got great players at the moment right now guys like Coutinho um, Jacob Ramsey playing out too. Uh, Oli Watkins, Boyndia as well, so it is going to be a very interesting game. Then after um, the Aston Villa game, it is Tottenham on the 20th of March, uh, a London derby, going to be very interesting as well because West, um, because Tottenham um, is going for for first part as well, so it's, 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 it's going to be a high risk game for both teams as well. Hopefully it, it's a draw, <laughs> I want it to be a draw, and then they are playing Everton, um, at home, Brentford away, uh, Burnley away, no, Burnley at, Burnley at home, Chelsea away, and then the and then the final four games for them will be um, Arsenal at home, uh, Norwich away, Man City at home, and then Brighton away for the final game on the twenty second of May. So it, it it is a few of of the tough, uh, it, 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 it's it's a few tough fixtures uh, for West Ham teams like Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea. You know, um, Everton, if Everton decide to ever show up, Aston Villa, Tottenham as well, away, even Liverpool away as well. So those games are pretty tough for West Ham, in my opinion. And and they do have the FA Cup as well. And it, it depends on how far they go in the FA Cup as well. Because um, at, at the moment right now, they, they are, they're focusing on the FA Cup and the Premier League too. So uh, they are going to be using a lot more of the players as well. And, and if the players aren't fatigued, or not so i will be moving on to the to the my United fixtures as well and for me uh of course a lot of people know that i'm a my United fan in my opinion it's going to be tough for my united man it's going to be tough for my united to get four places all just because of everything that that goes on the performances as well the whole issue with the midfield too so the next game that my united are playing as well is in the champions league at, at, against atletico de madrid um, at eight o'clock, so again they're flying out to the, the whole jet lag thing. So Atletico Madrid um, uh, tomorrow in Madrid, uh, eight o'clock, tough game. And then after that, it's gonna be uh, it's, it's gonna be Watford at home at, at the three p.m. kickoff on Saturday, twenty sixth of uh, February. And then the next fixtures like March is an absolute barren wasteland for for Man United. It's Man City away at the Etihad Stadium. Then they're playing Spurs at home. And then Athletic Madrid at home. And then Liverpool away. And then Leicester at home. And then Everton away. So, yeah. And Mar <laughs> March, in March and the beginning of April is, is a literal madness for Man United. The key fixture is, is against Arsenal away um, on the 23rd of April. For me, that's going to be such a big game as well. Because Arsenal, believe it or not, is is in is in uh, amongst it as well for top four too so this, this, this is going to be a tough game right and then and then after and then after the arsenal game it is um at home against brentford and then away at brighton and then at home to chelsea and then the final game of the season on the 22nd of may is um away at crystal palace at Sohos park again the key fixtures that stand out for united is chelsea um, is at home against Chelsea. Chelsea is a good team, no matter, no matter where they play home or away. The very organized team, 
um, Arsenal away at the Emirates Stadium as well. Arsenal will be so, will, will be so, they will, they will be so up for that game. Um, Leicester um, at home, great players they've got. Everton um, away, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Away at Anfield as well. Tottenham away at City. All these games are going to be tough for my United fan, man. The thing is, too, like with with my night as well, you know. It, again, it all depends to how far they go in the Champions League. For me, I, I don't think that we 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 will be um, at Atletico Madrid, and and like like March is going to be such such a tough month as well because it's just hard teams that we're, we're going to be playing against as well. Because if we can't get a result like um, a, 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 against a Middlesbrough, so <laughs> what chance do we have like against Man City as well? You know, with our midfield being overrun as well, no no control to always giving away position as well, always conceding chances as well. So there's gonna be uh, teams up. There's gonna be teams like Man City and the Liverpool and the Tottenham, even the Leicester as well, with quality up, up, up front. Uh, 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 guys like Kevin De Bruyne, uh, you know, guys like Son, guys like Harry Kane, guys like Mane, guys like. Salah, guys like Patson Daka, Jamie Vardy as well up front, you know, yeah. For me, it's, it's, it's going to be tough for my United to get um, the top four. I'm genuinely, being, I'm genuinely just being struck um, with you guys. Like, I, I'm, I'm just speaking the truth as well, you know, from the from the performances that I've seen from, from the United season. And I, I don't think that top four is on for us. But uh, moving on to Arsenal. So, Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. This team... It depends. It, 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 all, it, it, it all depends as well, you know, because with Arsenal, right, they sold Obama and but, but but none of their strikers have scored right now. It's, it's, it's always like uh, the, the midfielders or even like wingers, guys like Emil Smith Rowe, Saka scoring for them, and Saka scoring for them as well. So this whole thing uh, with the striker for Arsenal is going to be a big problem in, 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 in my opinion because. Like if 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 Smith Rowe or Sack is not scoring, then 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 nobody else is going for Arsenal, you know. And a lot of Arsenal fans might might not like me saying this, but it's it's it's, it's, it's just it's just what I think. So uh, forgive me for that. But the Arsenal fixtures uh, that they have because the because they only focus right on the Premier League because they're not in any other competition as well. They're not in the Carabao Cup because of. Of course, that's finishing. I'm pretty sure the final is this Sunday. They're not in the Champions League. They're not in the Europa League. They're not in the FA Cup as well. So they're just focusing on Premier League as well. And yeah, for me, they are the favourites to actually uh, 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 get top four spot. But again, it's up to the Arsenal players if if they buy if they will if they will battle it or not. So the so uh, they're playing Wolverhampton on Thursday, the 24th of February, and then Watford away. Uh, less to play against Leicester at home, Liverpool at home. Those those two weeks are going to be hard for them. Aston Villa away. That's that's going to be a really tough game for them because um that's going to be a really tough game for them because Aston Villa actually <laughs> they actually can play football. <laughs> they actually like a, like a decent team um at Villa Park and then the, then the way at Selhurst Park uh, Selhurst Park against Crystal Palace. Then at home against Brighton, and then away at Southampton, and then of course they play in my United um, on the 23rd of April, which is a big game. Then away at West Ham as well, fellow top four competitors, and then uh, and then they play Leeds, uh, Newcastle away, and then the final game of the season it is against Everton on the 22nd of May. So it's it's it's, it's going to be a few tough games for Arsenal. Again, it just all depends on which player show up or, um, or on that day as well because they, they have to take the chances as well. Because when you play against like a Liverpool or when you're away at Aston Villa too, or when you're playing West Ham as well, because West Ham isn't that um, a top four uh, contention spot, like, yeah, like, like, like their players have to take the chances as well. And it's no excuse for Arsenal, in my opinion, because again, no competitions, literally, they've got no competition. The only, the only thing that they're focusing on is the Premier League as well. So it's a big chance for them to get top four as well. But the final, the final team that I am going to be um, uh, talking about is Tottenham, the, uh, uh, Tot Tottenham Hotspur. In my opinion, the team that is going to get top four from, from, from what I've seen as well, you know, and the signings they've made in January to, um, uh, to, to 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 what Conte is doing with them. So the so actually Tottenham's playing tomorrow against Burnley and then um, away at Burnley and then they're playing away at Leeds, then away at 
at Middlesbrough in the FA Cup as well. So that's one tournament that they, they have to think about if they if they want to uh, break that trophy curse. And then they're playing Everton at home, uh, away at Old Trafford to Man United, or away at Brighton. And then they're playing West Ham. They're playing Tottenham, Aston Villa. <laughs> they play Newcastle and then Aston Villa, and then they're gonna play against Brighton um, at home, and then and then they're gonna play against Brentford, Leicester, Liverpool away, um, Burnley at home, and then away at Norwich um, of the or the final game uh, for them. So it, it's, it's yeah, for me, I think that Tottenham have got the easiest of fixtures. And, uh, uh, just looking here too because. The, the only teams that stand out, in my opinion, is Man United, West Ham, and Leicester, and, 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 and Liverpool, you know. So, it, it does suit them. So, so that, their fixtures actually do suit them as well. Because, yeah, it, 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 literally, all, all they have to focus on is the Premier League and the FA Cup as well. And if they do want to win a trophy and then get FA Cup as, and, 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 and then get um, fourth place too, I think that's why... Uh, Conte would be looking uh, to do as well. They, they they've actually got the squad to do it. And when you compare the fixtures well between Arsenal, Man United, um, and, uh, and West Ham as well, for me, yeah, Tottenham's fixtures actually do like favour them because with Man United, like if you, if you look at Man United again, like in March, what City, <laughs> Man City, what uh, there's Leicester, Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, you know, and then and then Arsenal still have to play Man City as well. They they, they have to go to the Etihad Stadium. They have to play um, a, a, against Liverpool as well. They have to play against Man United. So uh, same thing with West Ham as well. You know, like with 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 West Ham too, they've got uh, what. They, they, they've still got Chelsea to play, Spurs, Liverpool, even Arsenal too. So for me, like Spurs, um, do look like the team that is going to get top four. You know, they went and beat um, Man City as well, like three two. You know, they, like took their chances really well. So yeah, guys, that's literally my my prediction. I am predicting uh, Tottenham to to get uh, fourth place. Generally, like f from from looking at the fixtures, again, no no excuses. For them, but again, they do bottle things. <laughs> so just have to wait and see. But yeah, for for, for me, like uh, Tottenham just looks like the team that that down their fourth place. Even they've, they've got a game in hand. They've got what three games in hand on Man United, you know, and yeah, winnable games in hand as well. You know, they should be winnable too. Um, Arsenal have three games in hand as well, but but they but their three games in hand. In, but their three games in 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 hand is against like Man City, Liverpool, and Chelsea. So are those really three games in hand? It's, it's not really, isn't it? Because again, like those guys are, are the top three best teams um, in the Premier League right now. But guys, that's been the video as well. If you got any th if you got any thoughts, comments, or concerns, or all your opinions as well, or who's going to get um, top four or even that like, fourth place, comment down below as well. Which fixture uh, do you, do you think? Which fixtures uh, do you uh, think? Um, um, Benefits to to, to 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 what team as well because again for me just looking at the, just looking at at those Tottenham fixtures I I think that yeah they they're generally up there as well and if you like keep supporting your boy don't forget to subscribe guys don't forget to subscribe to the 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 most unprofessional YouTube channel <laughs> YouTube channel on YouTube guys but yeah I've been Princeton <laughs> discussing top four hopes aspirations for each team because the heat is on guys the heat is on as well you know and i'm signing out guys peace